Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Surviving Outdoors. In this episode, we'll be learning a little about how to survive in situations where you're very unfamiliar with the surroundings and just pretty much how to stay out of trouble. It's going to be extremely important for me to find a, a base, a home, here in this barren wilderness where it's out of the wind but still receives direct sunlight. And uh, that's exactly what I'm trying to find right now. All right, so we've reached the place where looks like we could probably set up camp. We're on ice, so I don't know how thick it is. Put a few cracks. It's, uh, it's gonna be important when you're in a survival situation that you immediately find yourself a river that you can uh, drink out of, you know, fresh. This one looks pretty fresh. I'm not very thirsty right now. It's also important to find rocks that are about, oh, about an orange size, maybe a small tangerine. In, uh, in size but very flat. These are going to be very important for cutting in the future. Also, great for skipping. Now the first thing that we're going to talk about here is in survival you have to find a place like this that's out of the wind but in direct sunlight. That way you can, you know, you could harvest the most photosynthesis that your body can handle. That way you'll be filled with energy from the sun as the Mayans once thought. And they were right. It's also important that as soon as you get to the riverbank you find a lot of these dark colored rocks. Uh, you may not believe me when I say this but these are great, great for eating later. They taste a little like Snickers. Ooh, here's a good one. Oh. Now, here's what I found. Let me come over here and show you. Here's what I found. There's actually a small hole carved out of this already. So I can use this for, you know, pretty much anything. Like a, a bowl to, to, you know, to put my to rocks in that I've gathered. Uh, I can use this as a small ladle or a cup to put uh, fresh water in, for example. Oh yes. Would you look at that? It's nature's canteen. Now, one of the last things that you want to do when you're in the wild like this is be taken off guard. There's a lot of predators out here and for that reason it's a good it's a very good uh, idea when you first get here to find yourself something to fend them off with. And let me show you what I found here. It, it's going to be just the thing, you see. It's an old, I don't know what it is, but that sounds great. That sounds just like a rattler. So if I, if I see a, a giant bear or a, a muskrat of any sort or a duck, We're in luck. I found a great place to, to take my hood off a little and get some nice fresh, fresh water. Now I normally wouldn't suggest this, but since I know these backwoods pretty well, um, I'm going to go ahead and take a little drink out of here and you know, just give me some good water energy. So, I've only been out here for about 10 minutes, but already my body is affected by the cold, cold weather. It's about 20 degrees here, so you can imagine at night it gets about down to 17, and that's when things really start to get ugly. For that reason, you need to find a very high ground like this, maybe two foot off the ground. It's very optimal. 
I got my I got my rattler. I'll put that there. I don't want to lose that. And uh, this is how I'll spend the night. Very comfy. Out, very cozy tree. Just, you know, just, I'll just hang here. A good thing that you want to do as soon as you get out and you find, you know, the perfect setup like this is you find all these loose twine branches. Uh, ah, this one actually has thorns on it. We'll find some twine branches later. I'm not quite sure what they're called, but they're great for, you know, mending stuff. Uh, if you fall down and scrape your knee, it's, it's going to do the trick. If I look around, there's plenty of stuff in nature that's going to help me out, help me out through the night. For example, I just grabbed some of this North American thistle branch, ball it up. Oh yeah. You know what's coming next. That's a pillow, my friends. Uh, lay your weary head on that for a while. Your energy and your, your morale will come right up. Well, now that we've found a spot that we like, let's keep moving on and see what else we can get. All right, what we have here is a rock wall. It's about 40 kil kilometers high. In American standard metric, that's about 14 feet. Please don't do this at home. As you can see, the rock wall is very, very strong. I have almost no trouble getting up. Almost none at all. I'm very much at home like a mountain lion. You see? Whew. Boy, that was a hard descent. But I'll tell you, you put the time in to go up, you take the you take the time to come down. I had to stop and get a shot of this. This is just fantastic. If you look closely, those are the tracks of a just a common household cat. Not a mountain lion or a Puma, panther, a leopard, just a cat, just a household cat, you know, your tabby. But what's unique about it is that the tracks are so numerous and so spread apart. Usually these type of species travel in groups near the thousands, if not the hundred thousands. And I'm really, I'm really excited about the shot that we're getting right now. It's fantastic. Let's keep moving. Well, we've we've reached, well, we've reached uh, pretty much the end of our journey. As you can see, uh, the the river is getting much too deep to cross, and it's much too hazardous. Um, I suppose I'm going to head back for the evening and bed down in my shelter that I found. It's just perfect for surviving in this very harsh environment. Oh my gosh, we are very lucky, folks. I just found something you know, walking back to my camp, that is quite astounding. Let me show you myself. I didn't quite know what it was until I looked closely, but it seems that some deer or some elk have taken the liberty of urinating in this spot, but uh, nevertheless, it rode out high. It's little moments that really, uh, really capture what nature is all about. And, uh, ooh. And uh, I'm really lucky to be a part of it. So uh, until next time, I'm going to go sleep. But uh, it's been fun. I'll talk to you later. Oh my gosh, there's a duck. Get back!